Hello everyone. In this video, we learn about sound. What is sound? How the sound is produced, and how the sound propagates in any medium. So let's understand first what is sound. Sound is also a form of energy, just like heat and light. Sound is a form of energy. It produces a sensation of hearing in our ears. But how sound is produced? Let's discuss that. What happens when you beat a drum? You will hear the sound of the drum. Now touch the membrane of the drum, then you will be able to feel its vibration. When the sound stops, then touch the membrane of the drum again. You will not feel any kind of vibration. It means what? Vibration. The vibration of membrane produces sound. Means we can say sound is produced when a body vibrates. Let's understand with another activity. Stretch the rubber band and then leave it. The rubber band vibrates and a sound is produced. Now stop the vibration of the rubber band. Is there any sound? No. Means we can say that all vibrating bodies produce sound. Sound cannot be produced if the body is not vibrating. So if vibration is there, sound is there. No vibration, no sound. So finally, the point is all vibrating bodies produce sound. Sound cannot be produced if the body is not vibrating. Now we discuss that how sound propagates from one place to another. Children, sound needs a medium to travel. Medium can be a solid, liquid, or gas. But how it propagates? Let's discuss that. Now I'm taking the object as a speaker, and the medium is air. When an object vibrates, then it sets the particles of the medium around the object into vibration. In this process, the nearest particle displaces from their mean position and collides with the adjacent particle. Now the adjacent particle disturbs their immediate adjacent particles, and this process continues in the medium till the sound reaches our ear. It means what? It means Vibrating particles of the medium do not travel all the way from the vibrating object to the ear. It creates a disturbance in the medium, and this disturbance is known as sound wave. A sound wave is a disturbance that moves through a medium when the particles of the medium set neighboring particles into motion. Like this, we can hear all sounds. Means like this, the sound can travel. Propagate from one place to another place. Now, during this process, there is two conditions. The first one is compression. Compression is that part of the wave in which the particle of the medium are closer to one another. On the other hand, rarefaction is the part of the wave in which the particles of the medium are further apart than that in the normal position. One more thing you should understand. That sound waves are called mechanical waves because they need a material medium for their propagation. Material medium means solid, liquid, or gas. An electromagnetic wave is the wave which do not need any material medium for their propagation. Example: light waves or radio waves. They can travel even in vacuum also, but sound cannot travel in vacuum. Sound needs a medium for their propagation. Let's understand this activity to demonstrate that sound requires a medium for propagation. We will take electric bell, glass bell jar, vacuum pump, and battery. Place the electric bell inside the glass bell jar and connect it to a battery. When the socket is closed, you can hear the bell ring. The jar contains air, and sound travels through this air. Now remove the air from the jar with the help of a vacuum pump connected to the bell jar. As the air is taken out, the loudness of the sound slowly decreases until the sound becomes too faint. Finally, you cannot hear the bell even though the hammer of the bell is seen striking the gong as before. Allow air to enter the jar gradually. You will hear the sound slowly increasing. It means what? When the air is present in the glass jar, we can hear the bell ring, and when air is removed, there is complete vacuum created inside the jar. We cannot hear the bell ring. It means sound requires a medium for its propagation. 
Now sound propagate in solid, liquid and gases. But sound travels fastest in solid followed by liquids and then gases. Why? Understand that. Sound waves travel very fast through solid. We know in solid the molecules are packed tightly together. So the sound vibration can travel quickly. Whereas in liquid the particles are not as close as solid. There are empty spaces where no molecules are there. So it cannot create the vibration. That's why sound waves travel a little faster through water. But in gases the molecules are far apart. So it takes longer for them to vibrate and pass on the vibration. So sound travels slowly. Now you understand why the speed of sound is fastest in solid, then liquid and then in gases. Sound wave is a longitudinal wave. Now what is longitudinal waves? A wave in which the particles of the medium vibrate to and fro in the same direction in which the wave is moving is called longitudinal wave. So sound wave is a longitudinal wave. In the next video we discuss about the characteristics of the longitudinal waves.